Welcome to Octane Mobile Gaming. Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. The new deck is out for the next event, which is an Earth Commander event. We're gonna have a look at the news link. So the news link for this week introduces us to the bad boys, or the boys. So the boys are a set of cards that's based on some type of movie. Never seen a movie before, it's the first time I've heard about the movie we'll take a look at it at some point but we've got several cards we've got earth cards earth affinity cards we've got light affinity cards but do take a look at your news link and how to obtain these cards and what these cards are we can take a look at the vault so on tier three of the vault we all get this card if we go up to tier three and basically it's a event card so if you look at the leader skill it's earth slayer gill four it's 400 percent damage and hp for all earth slayer heroes in gvg so that tells you that it is a main card or event card its battle skill creates four Earth Power Gem 4s. Charge rate is 9, the cooldown is 2. It's got a 2 turn cooldown, which makes it quite nice. The passive is Super Strength. So this hero has a permanent 100% attack increase. I've never really seen a card with a permanent attack increase. It's the first of its kind that's got a permanent attack increase. So you don't need any criteria to actually get this boost which makes this card quite nice hopefully we can see a few more cards like this so there, there there are other cards that you can get one of them is bad boy you've got uh, that one plus a few more 
so there they are and the relic is that um, bulldog anyway let's take a look at the cards for this week I didn't really get much well I didn't really get anything from the the vault but I have been saving all my um, coins so I've got 115 coins for this week and we are gonna craft the deck and the reason why I'm gonna craft this deck is because I believe this deck has got really good potential when it comes to GBG and my my um, guild that I'm in is really GBG focused so I'm doing all that I can to get myself up to par with most of the guys in my guild because before I wasn't really focus on gvg i was more of a event player so i mostly concentrate on event decks and everything to do with event but now i'm in a guild that's really gvg focus so they make certain that you do your gvg attacks if you don't do your gvg attack they basically will um send you a message say you need to do your attack or why haven't you done your attack so they're really gvg focus they help you with your GVG defense team, your GVG cards, your GVG relic, they really help you a lot when it comes to GVG. Event, they do play a lot of the event and they do know their stuff when it comes to deck combination, cards, stuff like that. So they help you in events as well, but GVG is where it's at. Now let's take a look at this card. It's Reaping Royalty and it's a Noble Killer card. The battle skill is, um, I think it's a really nice battle skill really. It cleanses one enemy debuff from each Earth Slayer on your team. So it doesn't really cleanse any debuff from any other cards apart from Earth Slayer. So it doesn't cleanse from Earth Commander or any other affinity. It only cleanses from Earth Slayer. Which that part of the battle skill I really um, didn't like that it didn't cleanse from just earth affinity cards because if it cleansed from earth affinity cards it would be a bit better it would be absolutely brilliant if it cleansed all the buff from any cards but it is what it is and I think it's a really good battle skill especially in GVG where you've got a lot of toxins and all those wonderful stuff that the defending the defenders has got it dispel one enemy buff so it dispels buff as well so buff is a thorn might dodge stuff like that you've got a few more but i'm just mentioning mentioning free um debuff is like uh traitor gem silence power gem silence um toxin poison you've got quite a few now the passive, it's got two passive. The first pass passive is Benedictive inver Inversion. And once per turn, when an enemy buff or debuff is successfully removed or prevented, it creates six Earth Power Gem fives and increase self attack by 80% for three turns. This activates with, this activates with counter skill as well. So if you've got this on your deck and you counter uh, a debuff or a buff, it activates this skill. This skill will work quite well in GVG because in GVG you keep getting hit with um, either buffs or debuffs. So this will work really, really well in GVG. So I see this card or the deck in and of itself as a GVG deck going forward. So if you're looking for a really good Earth GVG deck, this one will work with other Slayer cards such as um, making you card. I think that one is called, it's not a Golem, the Druid deck, I think it's a Druid deck. I'm gonna have a look at this soon. The second passive, um, Plentiful Harvest, it creates four Earth Power Gem fours at the start of each turn. So this one, once you start a turn, you'll get four Earth Power Gem fours. This one, 
you don't need anything to create those for Art Power Gen 4s. However, to create the 6 Art Power Gen 5s, you do need to dispel a debuff or a buff to get those ones. Now, this one has got um, a counter skill that dispels armor. Last week, last event, we really needed a card that could dispel armor. However, I was using... Um, I was using Freedom Fighters, which dispels an enemy buff every four turn, which wasn't too bad. But something like this would have really come in handy. It is what it is anyway. And now we've got it. So if you manage to get it or you can use your coins to get it, it's it's a nice card to have. I think it's really good for GVG. Now let's take a look at the Master Collection card. Now the Master Collection card will upgrade five earth power gems to one rank higher it's got a two turn cooldown a nine gem charge rate the passive plentiful harvest will create four earth power gem fours at the start of each turn uh -huh. so what i think i think this card could actually have created a few more earth power gems it's Earth Power Gem 4s anyway, so it could have created a few more Earth Power Gems, but it will upgrade 5, so it will create Power Gem 4s and probably upgrade those to Power Gem 5s. The more of these cards you have, the more you can upgrade um, gems to gems of higher level. It's got a two turn cooldown as well, which makes it quite good. The fact that it actually spawns gems passively is really good as well when it comes to GVG, and you have other situations where passive gem spawn is really really good so this is not a bad card to have you've got other cards that upgrades um, power gems as well i think we've got a dark affinity that does the same next card up will be our ultra rare for this week and ultra rare will cleanse one enemy debuff so that's where the ultimate form gets that skill from um from each earth slayer on your team it will also dispel one enemy debuff one other thing that when I saw this first this morning I thought that's that's not really brilliant because as it stands we don't really use um, one affinity deck anymore before gem crush we used to use if it's earth we used to use all earth cards in the deck now since the introduction of gems um gem crush we have to use mix affinity deck so you probably got one card within the deck that's from a different affinity and um with this card actually just removing debuff from earth slayer cards as i said it's really good for gvg but in the event i don't think it's uh i don't think it's something that is brilliant if you see what i'm saying i think it should have probably removed debuff uh from all slayer cards really if it removed debuffs from all slayer card it would include all affinities as long as they're slayer not really commander but slayer that would make it a bit more better make it a little bit more broader than just um specific earth slayer cards the passive once per turn when the enemy casts a buff or debuff is successfully removed or prevented you'll create six earth power gem fives and increase self attack by 80 percent for three turns um, this includes counter skills as well so let's look at the dispel the counter skill for the master collection card so the counter skill for the master collection card is blind now blind can um it's not really nasty but it can affect your um your damage armor however you can play around armor but it would be nice to dispel armor because armor can waste a lot of your time so i hate armor because it's a time waster let's look at the main card or the event card for this week so the event card for this week is Lear. Leroyd and he upgrades four Earth Power Gem of one rank higher. Two turn cooldown just like your mass collection card. 
the passive will create free earth podium freeze at the start of each turn so it's quite similar to your master collection card however it creates a power gem freeze and it creates three up power gem freeze and it upgrades four to one rank higher is it a powerful deck um i don't really think it's really powerful uh is it a useful deck uh going forward when it comes to gvg it can be uh quite useful it can be quite useful in other events as well because if it's if you stick this on a deck it will produce uh power gems passively if it um removes a debuff from any earthslayer card you will create additional power gems so it can have um other application away from the event however the main application i can see is gvg so if you're looking as i said for a earth slayer gvg deck this one well the ultimate form really are the ultra rare is not too bad the master collection card however it, for me it's, it's a bit touch and go so let's look at the support card so the support card for this week will heal for 12,000 percent of your recovery which in and of itself when you see the healing um in the event it's 12,000 percent is not that much it barely heals you before if you had cards like this in say generation 2 or generation 1 that does this amount of heal it would be massive amount of heal but the the um, the HP for decks has gone up quite massively. When I first started, HP in a deck would be what 79, 79,000. Just over, if you have a deck that had just over 100,000 HP, that was a lot of HP. Now we've got deck with like 7 million HP, so 12,000% of your recovery is not really that much because we're. The heal actually comes from it's the numbers in the middle for those of you who are not really sure so this card as it stands I've got a recovery rate of 279 so it's 12,000 percent of 279 which is not really a lot if it healed for like uh, say um, 10 percent or 15 percent of uh, your maximum HP that would be really really better because you've got cards that are far better you know within the deck within the game i think the wicked queen is a far better healer than most cards that we have nowadays okay the three cards that you need for this week i would say the one from the hard run gorillas deck is the best of the three i've got all three and as i said i'm gonna craft both the master collection and ultra rare which will leave me with um not a lot of um coins but i've been saving them to actually use them so i'm gonna use them and i'm gonna get this deck next week however is a light commander event which will be a beast beast killer beast killer will be the skill for next week i have got the k-pop deck which is at two star and the week after would be a fire immortal which i've got a deck for that as well so i'm looking forward to those let's craft the ultimate form and that's the ultimate form crafted and we're gonna have a look at what we can do With the cards that we just got so it is earth and it's noble so i'm thinking is if i get the killer skill from the ultimate form then i can use defiant do it 
alongside none other than the jailers alongside if I can use something like this the only problem with a deck like this is I haven't got any off affinity cards on it so I would probably have to go with no it's not care to killer what was it again was it noble I think it was noble so here we go so if I use it with say a card like this now this card will spawn power gems for three turns which makes it quite wonderful so it will create 18 power gem fives over three turns so activate it you keep getting uh, fire gems on the board that will give us the buffer that we need to stop most of our gems from crushing or we can get some of those gems converted and upgraded so I think a deck like this is not too bad there probably are better combinations out there but tomorrow we'll look at other combinations but this one just seems quite nice to me I did use this one for the last event which worked quite well so I'm gonna use it for this event try it out see how I get on probably try other combination and combinations as well let's have a look at so I have got this one uh, United Taurus however United Taurus destroys all non earth gems on the board which um, if you're gonna use an off affinity card it's not gonna work really well you can use um, making you or um, Vernon Druid deck is also a Slayer um, Earth Slayer deck you can try this one out by using the ultimate form as well no it's actually noble so we want earth noble we will stick the ultimate form on board we'll have to get rid of one of these cards and probably stick um, the golems on board to get some off affinity gems so something like that this could probably work as well vernon druid is um it's a nuke card it does nuke damage and nuke damage does increase based on immortal intensity but the passive is really good when beginning a turn with the earth power gem on board it will create six earth power gem so this one will create power gems it will create four earth power gem at the start of each turn giving us the ability to tap into uh, Vernon Druid and making you passive ability because this one can create uh, six uh, power gem ones as well each turn as long as you've got a earth power gem on board so you get earth power gem from this one which gives you the ability for these two to create six for this one and six for that one and then you've got your passive um, ability for this one um, glorious golem which creates power gems as well and this one high performance unit area does produce power gems passively as well so you've got five cards on the deck that's going to create power gems passively um, however glorious golem can produce uh, power gems with its battle skill but you haven't got any car other cards on the deck that creates power gems with its battle skill so we'll see how that one go might be able to work because your um your damage will be coming from these two cards. You'll be boost, you'll be boosting the damage output of these two cards. So that probably could be something that will work as well. All right. So we'll see how the event goes tomorrow. We'll talk more about the deck tomorrow. Is it a deck to go chasing after? I would say no. Don't chase after it. Um, if it's a deck that you like because i like it if it's a deck that you're looking for gvg you can use your um your, your coins and go for it but the choice is up to you it depends on what you are actually looking for i think it's nice for gvg 
and I think its its ability to actually cleanse uh, buffs and debuff is absolutely wonderful. It's something new, it's something good. However, I think if we get a next card with the same ability, it should be a bit more broader, where our brother, where it cleanses uh, buff and remove debuff from probably all Slayer cards are all dark cards are something like that not just earth slayer because that's a bit restrictive all right so tell me what you think of the deck guys tell me um what uh, deck you'll be running tomorrow you can leave a comment below leave any questions you have below thank you for watching guys look out for the next video tomorrow we'll go more in depth on the the deck and we'll see the deck in in how it performs tomorrow we'll see if we can mix and match a few cards and see how we actually get on uh, see if i can find a deck that's really powerful a deck that can really um do something magnificent within the slayer event i will be playing quite a bit of a slayer event i really love commander events more than slayer events now i think they are more exciting however we'll see how we get on for this slayer event um if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe hit the notification button for every video there's uh, a few more contents coming out on rpg games as well so like subscribe until next time guys thanks for watching bye and enjoy the rest of the day thanks